Hello ladies and gentlemen, we have a very distinct pleasure of introducing Mario, the CTO of Baker Hughes. How are you doing today, Mario? I'm fine, thank you. Fantastic. Never ever before, I mean, Tycon has been around for the past 21 years, but this is the very first time they've introduced a speaker that has so much experience in terms of the oil and gas industry. This is usually about a tech conference. So how does the oil and gas industry play into Tycon's conference? Well, you know, by training, I'm a nuclear physicist. I entered this industry 35 years ago. And when I entered, I like science and technology. And I stick to it for many, many years. Because in reality, you have a huge amount of high tech in this industry. And that's really one of the reasons why we decided to come here. Tell us about, when someone looks at oil and gas company, you know, they really don't think in terms of innovation or just, um, it's a big money-making company as well, but they don't think in terms of innovation. How does that innovation play into getting the oil and industry out? Well, you know, our business is very simple, you know. Nature has stuck hydrocarbon molecules down in very, very little poles in the ground. And it's not obvious to get them out. Sometimes they're on too high pressure and they just want to get out and you see what happens when they come out, sometimes they just don't. And for that, we are obliged to develop a huge amount of new technology just to make that very little thing happening. Explain that process. How does that process work? I'll give you a couple of ideas. Uh, the first one is you need to find out where it is. So for that, people would do what we call seismic, which is, in fact, you send sound down and it rebounds and you look at it. It's like when you do an ultrasound. But to do that, you have to think that we would set up on the ground 200,000 sensors. Every one of these sensors will be digitized 24, milli and 24 bits, 2 milliseconds. There is no big acquisition system than this one. Then you have to treat that. And if you look, the biggest computers installed in the US are for the Department of Defense, for the NASA, and for the company processing the seismic data. <laughs> This is very, very high tech. <laughs> very high tech indeed. And your role with the company as a CTO, you manage all the technology advances and so forth. What do you foresee are some of the challenges that the Baker Hughes is going to face? Well, our challenges are the challenges that our industry is preparing. And you all heard about a few things. You know, everybody heard about shale. But, you know, this shale. We do, it's very new, we do a lot of things, but there's so many things we don't understand. We still don't fully understand how it happened when we frack it, how do we get it out. We're still highly inefficient, and to do that, we need to develop a much, much better understanding, and into that there's a lot of science and a huge amount of technology. Well, Mario, is there a plan in place to tackle those challenges? Yeah, obviously, if not, we will not be, but this is exactly my job. We have, you know, every year, a company like ours, which is a service company, we spend about half a billion dollars in just pure R&D. Uh, my role is to orchestrate that all together so that we have a common vision and we can get solving the challenge of our customer, which become very complex. Well, Mario, thank you so much for joining us at the IND TV USA booth and enjoy the rest of Tycon Conference. You're welcome. Thanks.